Diabetes affects millions of people worldwide, but it doesn't have to be a life sentence. There is a major difference between controlled and uncontrolled diabetes. Uncontrolled diabetes can lead to debilitating complications, ranging from vision loss to heart disease to amputation of limbs. And while a core strategy of whole foods, less carbs, exercise, and reduced stress are key, there are certain vitamins and nutrients that have been found to be particularly important, especially when it comes to reducing the risk and severity of diabetes complications. The benefits of reducing your risk are numerous. Not only will it reduce medical bills, but it could also avoid triggering a domino effect of catastrophic health problems to maintain physical function and enjoy a good quality of life while staying on top of diabetes. So today we'll discuss seven vital nutrients to stop diabetic complications. What's more, many of these vitamins and nutrients can be found in everyday foods, so you don't necessarily have to break the bank purchasing expensive supplements. But before we get into it, can you do us a favor and like this video? Ring the bell for future notifications and make sure you subscribe to Diabetics Talk for more practical diabetes information. Plus, stick around to find out how you can get not one, not two, but three free gifts. Also, don't forget to check out exclusive Diabetics Talk merchandise from our store and sign up as a member to get full access to the Food, Health, and You complete implementation system documentary and more. Now, let's jump into the most important nutrients. Number seven, vitamin D. Vitamin D is essential to maintaining health and well-being. It is important for healthy joints, bones, and teeth, as well as immunity, heart health, and type 2 diabetes. Vitamin D not only helps the body absorb calcium, but it can also reduce the risk of diabetic neuropathy. Diabetic neuropathy is a type of nerve damage that can occur when blood sugar levels stay high over a long period of time. The most common type of diabetic neuropathy affects the peripheral nerves, which are responsible for communication between different areas of the body, such as hands and feet. Symptoms may include tingling or loss of sensation, numbness, burning pain, especially at night, sensitivity to touch, lack of coordination and muscle weakness or paralysis. If left untreated, diabetic neuropathy can lead to serious complications such as wound infections, falls, and fractures. In severe cases, amputation is necessary due to nerve damage in the feet. Well, studies have found that vitamin D significantly improves neuropathy, helps to prevent neuronal degeneration, reduces neuropathic pain, and aids repair after nerve injury. People who suffer from type 2 diabetes are often deficient in vitamin D. Vitamin D deficiency is associated with increased markers of inflammation, and scientists believe that insulin resistance related to vitamin D deficiency may be partly due to this inflammatory effect. In fact, according to a 2011 publication by the American Diabetes Association, increasing vitamin D serum levels to normal led to a 55% relative reduction in the risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Sunlight is a great source of vitamin D, which is why it's important to get regular sun exposure. But did you know that you can also get vitamin D from foods? Foods rich in vitamin D include fatty fish such as salmon, tuna, and sardines. Other good sources include pasture-raised eggs, fortified milk and soy milk, yogurt, cheese, and some types of mushrooms. The types of eggs you choose is important. Pasture-raised eggs come from chickens that are free to roam outdoors and get sun exposure. These eggs have healthy levels of vitamin D. However, eggs that have been raised indoors won't. So just like choosing grass-fed meat, it's worth paying a little extra for more nutritionally richer eggs. In addition to reducing the risk of diabetic complications, Proper levels of vitamin D are also associated with reduced risk of certain cancers and autoimmune diseases. So make sure you're getting enough vitamin D through food, moderate sun exposure, and supplementation if you need. Number six, 
berberine. Berberine is a natural compound found in the bark of the barberry shrub. It has traditionally been used to treat inflammation and infections, and research now shows that it may be effective in controlling blood sugar levels too. It achieves this through a number of mechanisms, including promoting beneficial gut bacteria, improving insulin function, helping cells to break down sugars more efficiently. What's more, studies suggest that berberine may be beneficial in treating diabetic osteopathy, a common complication for diabetics. With diabetic osteopathy, bone mineral density reduces, which increases the risk of fractures and injuries. These weakened bones become problematic and struggle to heal. The body naturally replaces bone cells, but in people with osteoporosis, the cells are not replaced as quickly, leading to weak bones. So you can imagine that berberine's potential to reduce bone mineral density is majorly important for helping diabetics to continue having strong bones, to be able to withstand trauma and heal, to walk and stay active. Furthermore, berberine has been shown to help protect against kidney disease, another common complication for diabetics. Berberine increases the expression of certain proteins in the body, which are believed to prevent inflammatory pathways that lead to kidney damage. And finally, berberine has been found to lower the risk of cardiovascular diseases by improving blood pressure and cholesterol levels. So if you're looking for a natural way to treat diabetes-related complications, consider adding this powerful supplement, berberine, into your daily routine. Number five, thiamine. Thiamine is also known as vitamin B1 and is an essential nutrient for maintaining healthy metabolic function. It is one of the first studied vitamins when it comes to diabetes, and it helps the body to use carbohydrates more effectively, improving insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. It has also been found to regulate blood sugar levels, increase energy production in cells, reduce oxidative stress, and help protect against diabetic neuropathy. That's the condition we discussed where nerves become damaged. Thiamine is quickly expelled from the body through urine, so we need to get it regularly. It's also important to note that thiamine deficiency is very common among heavy drinkers, owing to the damaging effects of persistent alcohol consumption on intestinal processes. You can get plenty of thiamine from foods such as whole grains, nuts and seeds, legumes, meats, and leafy greens. Now, the importance of thiamine for diabetics is well established, but there's a new kid on the block. Introducing benfotiamine. Benfotiamine is a fat-soluble form of thiamine. It was developed in the lab as a diabetes treatment with higher bioavailability, meaning it can also be absorbed more easily by cells. Research suggests that benfotiamine may be even more beneficial when it comes to reducing nerve pain associated with diabetic neuropathy, as well as preventing kidney damage, eye problems, and vascular diseases. Benfotiamine works by blocking certain enzymes involved in inflammation, which can help protect against oxidative stress, while also helping improve insulin sensitivity. One interesting study found that benfotiamine may prevent vascular endothelial dysfunction associated with oxidative stress. Endothelial dysfunction is a condition where the thin layers of cells that line your arteries become damaged. Endothelial dysfunction leads to an increased risk of heart disease and stroke and is common in diabetics. In the study, type 2 diabetics were given meals that contained high levels of advanced glycation end products or AGEs. AGEs are toxic compounds that appear when food is cooked at high temperatures, such as your classic deep fried meal or fast food. These cause enormous damage. However, the study found that treatment with benfotiamine significantly reduced the harmful oxidative stress markers. Again, thiamine levels can be boosted by getting plenty of whole foods, nuts and seeds, grass-fed meat, or you may wish to discuss with your healthcare provider whether a thiamine or benfotiamine supplement is right for you. Number four, alpha-lipoic acid. Alpha-lipoic acid, or ALA, is a powerful antioxidant that has been studied as a treatment for diabetic complications. ALA is a fatty acid found naturally in the body and is involved in energy production. 
It's important for its antioxidant action, meaning it can help protect our cells from oxidative stress. Many antioxidants are water-soluble or fat-soluble. However, alpha-lipoic acid is both fat and water-soluble. That makes it particularly beneficial, as it can move around the body and scavenge free radicals more effectively. When it comes to diabetes, ALA has been found to have a positive effect on insulin sensitivity and glucose metabolism. Studies suggest that ALA may be beneficial when it comes to treating diabetic neuropathy and preventing kidney disease. It helps reduce inflammation and reduce oxidative stress caused by high sugar levels, thus protecting against damage to nerve tissue. Now, another diabetic complication is called autonomic neuropathy, and research shows that ALA can help. Autonomic neuropathy affects the nerves connected to internal organs, such as the heart, digestive system, and bladder. It can cause a wide range of symptoms, including digestive issues, heart problems, and bladder dysfunction. Autonomic neuropathy can also lead to an increased risk of falls and accidents due to compromised balance and coordination. In one study, patients with cardiac autonomic neuropathy were treated with 800 milligrams of alpha-lipoic acid, while a second group were treated with a placebo. Following the treatment, the alpha-lipoic acid group had significantly fewer symptoms. Likewise, in Germany, ALA is used as a standard treatment for peripheral neuropathy, helping to alleviate numbness, tingling, and pain in the extremities. You can also find ALA in a range of foods, including red meat, spinach, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, tomatoes, peas, wheat germ, and yams. You can also take ALA supplements to increase your intake. Before we get to number three, how about those free gifts? Discover an entire world of diabetes-fighting foods with our new book, 10 Incredible Foods That Reduce Blood Sugar. Plus, you'll discover the real reason why type 2 diabetes, obesity, and heart disease are increasing at an alarming rate. And find out what really works when it comes to preventing these illnesses by watching our free Diabetes Fighting documentary. Plus, get a free recipe book, Amazing Alternatives to Rice, Pasta, and Bread, which contains over 50 delicious and easy-to-prepare recipes that the whole family will love. These gifts are free and waiting for you to grab them in the description box below. Now back to our video. Number three, acetyl L-carnitine. Acetyl L-carnitine or ALCAR is another nutrient that's important for energy production and nerve health. It's an antioxidant, meaning it can neutralize free radicals. Studies have found that supplementing with ALCAR can help reduce nerve damage and improve nerve function in diabetics. Other research suggests that it may prevent age-related cognitive decline, prevent high blood pressure, and improve exercise performance. The body produces its own ALCAR in small amounts, however this process is reliant on vitamin C. So getting plenty of vitamin C is important to support the body's ability to produce ALCAR. You can also find small amounts of acetyl L-carnitine in some animal products like red meat, fish, poultry, and milk. Number two, vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is an essential vitamin that helps to break down food, create new cells, and support the brain. It's also important for nerve health as it plays a role in neurotransmitter production, meaning it can help improve communication between nerves. Studies suggest that supplementing with vitamin B6 may have protective benefits for the nerves affected by diabetes. It can reduce inflammation, improve nerve conduction, and help protect against nerve damage. You can find vitamin B6 in a range of foods, including chickpeas, dark leafy greens, beef liver, tuna, salmon, poultry, banana, papaya, and oranges. And finally, another vital B vitamin that many diabetics don't get enough of. Number one, vitamin B12. Like B6, vitamin B12 helps to produce red blood cells and maintain a healthy nervous system. Vitamin B12 is generally not found in vegetables, so it can be difficult for some people to get enough of it from their diet, especially if you're vegetarian or vegan. 
People with diabetes are especially at risk of vitamin B12 deficiency because they often have difficulty metabolizing the vitamin properly. A deficiency in vitamin B12 can lead to anemia, nerve damage, memory problems, depression, poor circulation, and seizures. Vitamin B12 can be found in a variety of animal-based products, including meat, fish, poultry, eggs, and dairy products. Seafood like clams, sardines, and trout are also rich in vitamin B12, as well as milk, cheese, and yogurt. As mentioned earlier, plant-based sources of vitamin B12 are limited. However, a number of foods are fortified with vitamin B12. Look out for labels on food packaging while shopping. It's commonly found in cereals, fortified non-dairy milk, nutritional yeast, and an old favorite, Marmite. So there you have it, seven vital nutrients to stop diabetic complications. Number seven, vitamin D, six, berberine, number five, thiamine, number four, alpha lipoic acid, number three, acetyl L-carnitine, number two, vitamin B6, number one, vitamin B12. We hope these help you. And now we want to hear from you. What habits, routines, tricks, and tips help you? Share them with the community in the comments below. It may just help a fellow diabetic who is searching for solutions. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell button. And don't forget, you can claim your free gifts by clicking the link in the description below. We want to keep making informative, research-based videos for you. So if you gained value from this video and would like to see more of it, you can send us a super thanks by clicking the thanks button at the bottom of the video. We're Diabetics Talk, and it's our mission to bring you the best tips and tricks to help you fight obesity and diabetes. Thanks for watching. We hope you're having a diabetes fighting day.